Dear David, Dave, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get across a message in Australia. <laughs> you said our show is better to watch than appear on, so I assume you're watching right now. You also say we need to create stability in the Middle East. And you're right, we do. And how's that working out? Yeah, not great. So until we get there, how about we do our bit? Nigel Farage said this week, we need to be careful of showing too much compassion. How is that even possible? There's no such thing as too much compassion. Even the Dalai Lama just said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> too much compassion, that's like overdosing on happiness or having one too many orgasms. <laughs> you know what no one's ever said? Oh, I shouldn't have had that last orgasm. <laughs> I don't know, when you're hungover and you get a headache after, <laughs> there is nothing worse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The organisation known as Britain First tweeted today saying, quote, the little Syrian boy died because his father wanted new teeth. It went on to say the poor kid drowned because of a stupid father, RIP little one. Do you know why his dad wanted new teeth? Because according to his sister, when he was captured by ISIS, they pulled all his teeth out. And I'm guessing they didn't use a local anaesthetic. This guy didn't put his wife and kids on a boat in the middle of the night just so he could get a whiter-than-white smile. He did it to keep them safe. Right now in Hungary, there are hundreds of refugees walking 110 miles to get to Austria. And you know what the Hungarian people are doing? Lining the roads and giving them bottles of water. I mean, sure, that's mainly because they want them to get to Austria, but at least they're showing some compassion, and surely that's the least we can do. To paraphrase an Icelandic friend of mine, whose name I have trouble pronouncing, <laughs> refugees are the midfielders of your future football teams, the people who reclaim the ashes from Australia after we win them back in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> the drummers in your children's bands, and if they're allowed to get an education, maybe even the lead singers. <laughs> And your future TV hosts, as long as none of the current TV hosts are replaced. <laughs> this isn't about politics. This isn't about queue jumping. This is about children dying at sea because they're fleeing persecution. And I know solutions are hard to come by, but Crispin Fisher came up with this one when he tweeted, is it okay if this year's tedious series of Celebrity Big Brother could be scrapped and the building used to house Syrian refugees? <laughs> yes! Yes! What? What a fantastic idea! What a great idea! I'm all on board for that. David Cameron, make it happen, because I'd much rather hear a Syrian farmer explain how he stayed alive by milking the same goat for the past 11 months than watch Paul Burrell demonstrate how he stayed in the spotlight by milking Princess Diana's memory for the past 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it, Paul! No one cares! <laughs> Clearly, I've gone off track, but my point, David... <laughs> my point, David Cameron, is this. Tony Blair is now remembered by many as the British Prime Minister who took us to an illegal war. Please don't be remembered as the Prime Minister who turned away dying children. Yours sincerely, Adam Hills. Twelve. Oh, God! Thirteen. Holy shit. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like a knife, man. Do it! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh!